Hi, my name is Mike Lewinsky, and I'm a supporter of the Listen First movement. I'm inviting you to participate with me in Listen First Friday. A few years ago, I started to suspect that the only mind I have power to change is my own. At least, I'm pretty sure that this is true for the most divisive and polarizing issues like abortion and gun control. I realize that whenever I'm trying to change someone else's mind with arguments, I'm actually hardening my own mind by repeating over and over the things that I already believe. So I made a decision. If the only mind I can change is my own, I have a duty to learn how to do that. I mostly stopped arguing about politics, if for no other reason than to avoid reinforcing the beliefs that I might need to change someday. Along the way, I discovered the practice of moral empathy. This means that I strive to understand the true basis of other people's beliefs and moral values, rather than a caricature of those beliefs or values that is painted by their political opponents. It doesn't mean that I share those beliefs, only that I treat them as genuine and as important to them as my beliefs and values are to me. We have a tendency too often to paint our opponents in the worst possible light, and I know that I'm not immune to this tendency at all. The people who support abortion rights are called baby killers. The people who oppose them are called misogynists. When we resort to this kind of language, our moralism gets in the way of understanding and relating to the other person. The story that we tell about them obliterates their real story. Our misunderstanding then appears as bad faith and provokes anger and resentment that precludes the possibility we will be heard. If we can move beyond these stereotypes, we have opportunities to discover op overlapping values that might lead to shared goals, such as reducing the number of unwanted pregnancies that will end in abortions. Collaboration on shared goals reduces the harms that everyone sees. But this only happens if we let go of the moral antipathy that gives our own virtue a cheap boost. There is no hope for developing moral empathy if we refuse to listen. So long as we are arguing for our side, we are not listening. Some people have the belief that they are really arguing to influence the uninformed bystanders. I don't think that there are many uninformed bystanders on these divisive polarizing issues, and those who are have chosen ignorance because they are alienated by the acrimony of this kind of debate. The end result is that everyone's beliefs harden, and the possibility that anyone changes their mind is diminished. So this Friday, and throughout the coming weekend, I invite you to listen first. You don't have to change your mind, but if you question and then really listen, you leave that possibility open. Thank you for listening to me.